Welcome back. Time to cut the nonsense. Let's talk mind sense. I'm your host, Meena Jay. Man ki baat to hoti rengi ki bochu mind sense. Main hoon aapki host, Sarita Tant. And in the studio with joining us today is Tanya and Rob Gill. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Welcome to mind sense. <laughs> yes. Um, so to begin off with, I know um, we'll we'll get into the annual event that you do, but just tell us a little bit about yourselves first off. Good. Go ahead. Um, well, I'm Tanya, and um, I'm a flight attendant, and I'm also an esthetician. I have my own business, um, and uh, sensations, what? sensation aesthetics. Yes, yes, and um, yeah, just busy with the kids, a normal working mom, and yeah, that's mm-hmm. about it, really. Uh, just like Tanya <laughs> said, we're just for normal working people. Um, I'm a ready mix operator for Lafarge Concrete as well. Mm-hmm. And you're from England. Originally from England, yeah. Yeah, you've been here a long time. <laughs> yeah, almost 30 years. Now, so it's been a while. Yeah, how was that, the shift? Uh, well, obviously now it's not a problem. I mean, the first couple of years, the transition mm-hmm. um, obviously was challenging. It was during uh, high school when mm-hmm. I first moved here. Um, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. you met your life partner. <laughs> exactly, yes, I did. exactly. Yes, I did. Everything happens for a reason, right? Yes. So. My yes. soulmate. Yeah. You. Tell me, how about you, your childhood? Um, my childhood, I was born in Victoria mm-hmm. and uh, basically raised in Calgary and here as mm-hmm. well in Surrey. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just, just, you know, just grew up here. And, and Still amazes me when you said I'm a flight attendant, I have my own business and I'm mom. I know. Like, okay, <laughs> like, how do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you manage, you know, if you really want something, um, you just... You just cope and you manage to do everything. And you yeah. manage with your whole schedule, with your kids, and your, all both of the, the business and uh, flying. And, and I really love it. And now we have uh, started uh, Steps for SIDS, like uh, four years ago, um, our charity. Um, and um, we just really want to help somebody and just help the whole community. And <music> You know, and just be a part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Steps for SIDS. So when we t- when we say SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, right. and what it stands for, if, if people don't know, um, how did that come about? That you want to raise awareness, you want to, um, you know, also have donations and create more awareness around this. How did that come about uh, for you guys? Well, our son, uh, eleven years ago, Azan, Azan Singil, he passed away from SIDS. Mm-hmm. Um, he passed away um, taking his afternoon nap um, and uh, on February 19th. And it was, it was just a sudden thing where he was a healthy baby boy, six months old. No, he, didn't, he wasn't sick. He didn't mm-hmm. have the flu, no cold, no, no flags. Know, no, nothing. Yeah, no Thank flags you. at all mm-hmm. um, to warn us that something could happen, mm-hmm. right? And um, he was, he's our middle child. So we already had our daughter. She mm-hmm. was at, she was four years old at the time. Mm-hmm. And so we know how to mm-hmm. have a baby and mm-hmm. all the precautions, yeah. what to do, right? And um, at the hospital, they give you pamphlets as mm-hmm. well. Like, oh, don't do this, don't do this, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't put the baby on it, its tummy when mm-hmm. it's sleeping and, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. and. And it was just very shocking to us that how can this happen? Mm-hmm. And then did you hear they about did SIDS? Well, well, we did hear about SIDS. I know, because we were hear things, but you think, you know, yeah, like, mm-hmm. that yeah, can never happen. Like, yeah. how can that be, yeah. like, mm-hmm. right? Well, the, the things with SIDS is, is you always hear the stories about yeah. it. Yeah. But no one, obviously, you know, like we're talking right now, knows someone who actually went through it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? And in our case now, obviously, the more and more people that we speak to, it, it's the same case. Like, so that was the reason why we decided to come out to make a difference mm-hmm. because um, a lot of people don't talk, yeah. um, especially with the Indian community, especially um, when certain things happen in your household and stuff. You know, people don't like to talk, especially with anything mm-hmm. that's negative. Mm-hmm. Um, so we decided that we want to make a difference. Mm-hmm. And we're actually the first ones in, uh, in British Columbia to come out and speak in the public and try to make a difference. And, and that's what our goal is, and we're gonna continue to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The funds that we raise f- 
through our walkathon that we do annually, uh, goes to the pathology research clinic mm -hmm. at uh, BC Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. where they actually research directly for. Yeah, so walk a phone for sets. Yes. yes. And does it happen in Surrey? Where does it yes, happen? Yes, it happens yes. in yeah. Surrey. Every, the last few times, obviously, we've done the actual. It's, it's normally a, a one-day event mm -hmm. where it's like a, a fun family day where families can... Uh, bring all the kids and you know initially we start off the walk of or we have a track that we've done in North Surrey the last mm -hmm. few years and but other than that it's more like a fun family day just to try to bring the community together raise awareness do lots of fun things for the kids face painting uh, balloon twisting like big bouncy castles mm -hmm. and just you know just have a, f a fun day and just get the families together mm -hmm. and have fun um, because, I mean, most importantly, that's the biggest thing, right, is mm -hmm. to have fun mm -hmm. and use that fun to try to generate funds, right? Educate, create awareness mm -hmm. in Absolutely. the community. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, SIDS is it's an undetermined death. Yeah. And this death is, that's why people just don't talk about it because they think it's their fault it's their that fault. this happened. Mm -hmm. But when... The study has been done to babies who do die with the autopsy. Mm -hmm. And that's when they come out and they say it's undetermined mm -hmm. and it's SIDS. And the same thing happened to us. Um, the coroner did speak to us and um, it was a lady and, and she said, I'm very sorry that I don't have an answer for you mm -hmm. of why he died. Yeah. Um, she said if it was suffocation, we would see air bubbles in the lungs. Mm -hmm. It's their way of determining mm -hmm. suffocation mm -hmm. or any other um, diseases or disorders or whatever. They did also keep a piece of his brain even mm -hmm. after we did his funeral mm -hmm. to do more study. Mm -hmm. And it still came back. SIDS. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the one yeah. thing with SIDS is because it's undetermined is you don't get an answer yeah. and that's the worst thing at least with um, a lot of different types of illnesses out there you have a, a an reason answer. of why yeah. mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. happened mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why this one is obviously definitely more challenging mm -hmm. um, because you know it's blank there's no answer yeah you know, and that's yeah and that makes it definitely hard to Very accept difficult, yeah. um, have we accept what happened yes mm -hmm. have we um, moved on with our life yes we have but our son is always a part of our life mm -hmm. and, and and the kids his brother and sister they m love to talk about their brother mm -hmm. all the time you know mm -hmm. and that's not something that we've actually put on them themselves they mm -hmm. just do it obviously azaria was only four years old at that time but we had uh, another son after the fact as aunt he never met his brother mm -hmm. but he talks so much about him you know, and, 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 and that's and that's all we want. We're, we're a proud family of of five. You know, yeah. we've got three kids. We never say we have two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so just going through that experience. Obviously, at that time, you you weren't sure. Um, and was it you that found your son? And um, he wasn't breathing? It, it was actually uh, Robbie who found him, and Robbie knows CPR. Yeah. And he right away, um, you go ahead, Rob, you can tell yeah, him about uh, um, Well, right away, as soon as, as, soon as I went in the room after, um, I realized, obviously, you know, that he wasn't responsive. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I called 911 and I cited CPR mm -hmm. on, him, on him straight away. I had the operators uh, on the phone with me the entire time while I was doing CPR. And then, obviously, the, the police was the first ones that showed up. And they were mm -hmm. knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell. And I just shouted at them, and I'm like, break the door down, I'm not going to stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So then uh, he broke the door down, he came inside and he continued to, to assist me with CPR uh, until the paramedic showed up mm -hmm. and uh, then they took over. Mm -hmm. After um, they tried for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. um, they, they were okay to bring it back. Yeah, I mean, even it's such a hard experience to go through and then getting something positive out of that. Um, so the process for you guys, the family, you're wondering, um, and like we said, people don't like to talk about it. When we think, oh, sh you know, 
ਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਮੇਬੀ ਆ ਯੂ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਕਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਯੂ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਡੂ ਥੈਟ ਕਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਨੋ ਆਨਸਰ ਵਿਦ ਸਿਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਫਰਮ ਓ ਵੀ ਹਰਡ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵੀ ਹਰਡ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਓ ਦੇ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੈਡ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਥੈਟ ਓ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਡਨ ਰੋਂਗ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕੀਤਾ Mm-hmm. like what did you do so wrong they can't see oh right. oh do da gaya hona like mm-hmm. you know he probably choked on his mm-hmm. uh, vomit or something but no otherwise the coroner would say that mm-hmm. you know she would say she would notice that okay he choked on his vomit or or he was suffocated or you know, you know or he had died from a flu or fever or something but no not none of that mm-hmm. and we've heard so many things oh I have three kids they're fine. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know. But Never. but but, but you, you don't know. I mean it's since it's something like, it's not like you can predict it's going to happen to my child or your child exactly. it happens that there's no explanation. There's no warning signs right. Yeah. There's no warning signs. Yeah. So the prediction is one thing but also there is no prevention. Yes, you well, know yeah. there is. Well, you where, can where prevent you because you don't know what you prevent. Well, you you can are, prevent, but it still there's yeah. no they those, are, mm. those don't determined sense of there are some you know preventions I mean? that they or you know that they suggest you know with the, the, the extra child, blank right? with the blankets right. yeah. or mm-hmm. the the bumper padding or mm-hmm. like teddy bears and mm-hmm. stuff stuff animals mm-hmm. in the crib right because those things if you remove them it will reduce the odds yes yes right. so the odds will yeah. be reduced mm-hmm. but the, the possibility of it happening still is still there like yeah. would they say breastfeeding um or they say when the baby is sleeping in the car seat even mm-hmm. oh don't leave them in the car seat while yeah. they're sleeping or um yeah sleeping on their tummy um uh don't co sleep as well mm-hmm. like if the baby is sleeping with you it should be in a bassinet or mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. in another crib beside you but like not together right mm-hmm. Um there's so many preventive measures mm-hmm. but still that doesn't we determine did all, We did all those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it still happened. Exactly. Like, yeah. I mean there's so many babies that do co-sleep till they're even yeah, older, abs- right? Older. 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 Is it, is yeah. Yeah. If, you go back, if you go back a few years with the older generation yeah. <laughs> that actually, Yeah, that was like just what's about it? I know. Exactly. Right? That's exactly. just how yeah. it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So. My mom even said to me she goes I used to put you on your tummy all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you used to sleep on your tummy. You used to have good sleep. You know how they say Indian so uh, you know all your gas goes yeah. and all yes. that stuff yes. but you you know i understand that um the hospital and the doctors and nurses they all say to you to uh um you know do all these preventative measures because they just don't know what's actually causing yeah sudden yeah. infant death syndrome right and that's what i was saying that you know when it comes to prevention that we take all the prevent all the precautions right. to keep a baby safe right but there's nothing you can do to keep a baby safe how do you keep a baby safe from sids it's you know it, i mean you, you can eliminate like all, everything but it's like driving a car you can put you your seatbelt on and you know exa- all the safety measures but you but don't you know what's going to happen exactly. so right and, so, and mm-hmm. this is why it's actually really so serious Mm-hmm. and we need a lot of funds for this mm-hmm. and and people really don't realize how many funds we need like we invest our our money too mm-hmm. into like cancer yeah. uh, research mm-hmm. and all that that's like billions of dollars going there but there's actually little very little in Canada mm-hmm. for SIDS and i think like you said you know people don't talk about it um they don't they're not aware of it mm-hmm. so even like you know the comments of um should have done this or should have done that because right. people don't know that sids is even a thing oh how can that be no there must be an explanation it's like that denial exactly. if something bad happens there has to be an explanation for it yeah. and if there's not well you must have or, not done yeah. this or this right or, no or they or they think that maybe we know the truth and you know and we're not telling yes. yeah Yeah. There's there's, yeah. A, there's a lot of that. Especially there's a lot of that and, too. And um unfortunately you you have to move it, it wasn't easy to be honest with you those yeah. those first few years was extremely difficult. Mm-hmm. Really? Um, yeah. But you have to move forward, forward from forward. that mm-hmm. and you can't let those things bring you down. Right. And you can't. And obviously you also had another child already. Another child. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was honestly it was mm-hmm. hard. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. To carry kid, another child and, and have it, it, that, it was hard. That was definitely mm-hmm. probably the hardest part obviously having uh, Azana uh, being born after the fact. Mhm. Constantly checking up. 
mm -hmm. making sure he's okay. Mm -hmm. And obviously oh, yeah. now they've come up with the new uh, monitors and stuff like yes. that, right? So the breathing monitors and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. obviously we bought the best one and yes. mm -hmm. we did everything that we possibly could, but we had mm -hmm. so many sleepless nights. It was like... Just constantly oh, yeah. checking up. Is he okay? And, and yeah, you know what? Yeah. We still do, even mm -hmm. with the kids. We do it now. Well, it's just yeah. in the back of your head. It's just one of those things. Now, right? Well, even when the coroner uh, spoke to us, she said, "The only thing I can see of how he passed away was he just passed away like a light switch." You guys, even she, that she goes, "This is what it is with Sids." Um, you can even do all the CPR all you want. You can't bring it them not, back. It wouldn't have helped. It wouldn't have helped. And she even um, uh, shared with us her best friend's a doctor, and she had two twin girls, and they were actually sleeping in front of her at afternoon mm -hmm. in the afternoon nap as well. And one of them just started going blue. Yeah. And, and she's a doctor, and she started doing CPR, and that one baby girl died yeah. right in front of her. So Tanya, I want to ask you very hesitantly, as a parent, you know, I, I'm a parent, so it's like I, I can't even imagine my children getting hurt, you know, of for course, what, that, yeah. what you do. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask you, like you had an older daughter, four years old, right. so having to deal with your own trauma and also protecting oh, your child who had just yes. lost a, you know, how baby, her, her younger brother. children are so, yeah. I think for me, mm -hmm. that was the hardest, to tell her mm -hmm. that, um, I had to. I remember. I had to tell her that day that um, uh, I said, "Azaria, um, I have bad news to tell you." That um, uh, why Guru took Azan back. She was just in shock. In shock, and and just to help her just come through this grieving process, I think. Having Azaria though, she was our rock. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. she was she, our backbone. She's mm -hmm. she bring us all together and to move forward. The strength to move forward. Yeah. Yes, move forward. It's yeah, no, it's difficult. It is to lose one, but you also have to live with the one that's all you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Exactly. And, and she was the one that helped us. Yes, because obviously she we wanted to we wanted mm -hmm. to give up. Mm -hmm. Every day is like give up, mm -hmm. but then she's mm -hmm. there. We're like yeah. we got to keep going for her. Yeah, because we didn't have answers. Because we're like, oh, why did this? Why did this happen? Why us? Why? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, mm -hmm. it can happen in any family. We're total, like, we're we're professionals, and yeah. we're and we're a good family. We know all the rules, and we mm -hmm. know how to, you know, we know how to do everything. We were one of those families, just like we discussed earlier, that you've heard of Sids, Yes. You've never known someone that's gone through mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and now we become the first ones that we yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And and we we don't even smoke either. We yeah. we hardly like we don't do any of that because it, they, it even says it says like you know don't have a non-smoking environment mm -hmm. in the home, mm -hmm. and you know even pregnancy you shouldn't be smoking or doing all that mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. stuff. You know, anything, you yeah. women. Yeah. Um, so see, it just it was just one of those. Yeah. It was okay. devastating, it was tragic things, things that and, happened. And, and we're the ones that obviously were on the receiving end of it. Mm -hmm. right, so. And we just want to make a difference to someone. We don't want anybody to go through all that pain and suffering that we did. So how right. did you kind of start to move um, forward? Uh, you talked to other parents. So how did you kind of like connect with other parents and then figure out, you know, we need to find an answer. We need to, um, you know, like get something positive out of this. You know, one thing for sure is that we have a big faith in in God, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We we have so much faith in in um, our gurus and yeah. and uh, why guru. Um, that really really helped us. Um, as much as we didn't know any answers mm -hmm. and we were questioning him, mm -hmm. um, but I felt like he was like. I was really helping a, a Robbie a lot too because he saw him mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. um, and I we just basically helped each other, kind of guide each other. Like when he would be down, I would pick him up. When I would be down, he would pick me up. 
-hmm. you know, we just kind of helped each other, like, push each other forward. And I'm like, no, you have to go to work now. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we got to one step at a time, mm -hmm. one day at a time, right? We just took one day at a that's, time. That's the only way and, and a lot of praying, a lot of praying, and told God, please just give us answers of, like, what should we do now, mm -hmm. right? And then inside, we felt this thing that, no, help somebody, help someone, mm -hmm. it, it, and and get some answers. Mm -hmm. And then so then I was like, I said to uh, Robbie, I'm like, why don't we create something mm -hmm. that maybe this funding for the SIDS or something? Like, you know, mm -hmm. we were just like, I don't know, we were just brainstorming. What should we do, you know? Mm -hmm. And how do we get about to do this? And um, and so that was also, that also actually helped heal us a little bit mm -hmm. yeah, as well in a positive way. And then, and then having another child. Mm -hmm. um, so, little by little, things got better. And I want to say that I love how you said that we always talk about, Robbie, you said that we are a family of five. You know, you don't have your son with you, but he's always going to be part of you. Absolutely. He's of course. always, he's, he's going to live in your hearts, in your children, you know, that's always going to have a brother. Right. Um, so that's so beautiful. And I, Thank I you. know, and I think the word commendable is very small to say the work that you do to bring awareness around this. Thank you. So. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. When was the first year that the actual walkathon took place? And what was the kind of, how did you plan for it? And then mm -hmm. um, decide that at this date or during these, uh, this date, we oh, Well, that was ahead. 2017, right? Yeah, we initially started in 2017. That was the, the first one that we obviously tried to put together. Mm -hmm. Challenging. Yeah, <laughs> putting the whole thing together. Um, <laughs> um, but you know what? It, it, it was fun. It was good. Um, we learned from it. And uh, we continue to keep growing. Um, we had a, a few little obstacles in the way, obviously, with uh, our personal work and stuff like yeah. that. In Tanya's case, with her work, mm -hmm. it stopped us from, uh, we had to skip one year because okay. she wasn't uh, able to join us. She had, mm -hmm. to, she had to actually move away for a little bit okay. for her yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was obviously <laughs> a little bit challenging. <laughs> and then, obviously, we've tried to get back into it. Mm -hmm. And now we have another obstacle with COVID. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Normally we did the one day event, um, so these last two years we've still wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. It obviously is not going to be as grand as how we did it, but mm -hmm. we chose to go with the option of like everybody's doing the Zoom meetings the and virtual. stuff, so we yeah, did the like virtual. A virtual walk so we figured it. if you cannot come to the event and walk, why don't you just walk yeah. in your own neighborhood and mm -hmm. still be safe with COVID because mm -hmm. of all the restrictions that we had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we, we just asked everybody, you know, to, just to post us, tag us, videos, pictures and stuff like that. Just walk in your own communities and just walk for SIDS, mm -hmm. you know, and, and still try to generate funds. You and, know? It, and it's so nice uh, to have our family, even in England, to yeah. participate. It was, yeah. it was so people nice, have, like people all over the world. officially, like, at, you know, attend mm -hmm. a, a fundraiser yeah. like right, that. Right. So, I mean... Um, I guess that was the positive thing about the whole virtual thing is that those people who couldn't attend the walk of could actually could still do it now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go that way uh, moving forward, but we're going to try our best, hopefully, with mm -hmm. the city. And if we're allowed to, obviously, hopefully with the COVID numbers, so hopefully we'll start to come back down again. Yeah, yes. yeah. We can start to open up and start to have that grand mm -hmm. um, walk, -a -thon walk -a -thon again. again. Yeah. So we have a few minutes, so why can we talk about why, like, let's talk about your last event that's happened and how we can, how the, our viewers, our watchers, how can we support your cause? Um, so it's just to support our cause. Um. Just donate. <laughs> mm -hmm. One donate, so obviously. Where do which they is donate? What is that? Uh, the link is bcchf.ca slash steps for SIDS 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's the, that was for this year's link. Um, mm -hmm. That's for donation for the funds to go to the pathology research clinic at BC Children's Hospital. The link is always open. Mm -hmm. um, um, so please donate as much as you can. Every dollar counts. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because we, we want to make a difference. We don't want another family to go through the pain and suffering that we mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, we, 
would love to have one day that God forbid that something happens, but we have an answer mm -hmm. of why this happens, and now we can actually try to mm -hmm. stop it from happening again. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So that's great. Um, and also, you know, like families do go through it, and we don't know. People don't talk about it, but do the people contact you? Kind of like you know, we've gone through this, and then um, there was shared the experience. Yeah, absolutely. There. Um, the funny thing you're mentioning is like a couple of weeks ago, actually, um, an, an Asian family um, reached out to us. They mm -hmm. lost their son as well. Mm -hmm. Just sleep. Yeah. yeah Just gone. There's and, been a, a few families who have reached us over the last few years yeah, since yeah. we've spoken about because they've someone else has heard them and that's yeah. what they've gone through mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, we know someone who has gone through mm -hmm. it too. Mm -hmm. right. And kind of said, you know, would you guys like to try to help? I'm like, hey, whatever we can do, if we can just talk to a family, that's someone who understands it really exactly helps. what they're it going really through. It really helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there's support networks for so many different illnesses out there, you know, for so yes. many groups right. and everything, but to even to be able to connect with somebody who has gone through the experience, right. you would understand. You, you totally you know? understand. And yeah. like, you know, it's, it's very different than um, losing a child that had an illness mm -hmm. for a compared reason. to mm -hmm. losing a child, there's no, no explanation. explanation. No reason, yeah. So with, in talking to those kind of parents, it, it is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, so they, you can relate then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think, you know, when we go through something, it's different when we talk to somebody who's actually experienced the same mm, right. thing that you've experienced. So um, I want to thank you both for coming on the thank show. You so and thank, you thank you so and much for having us. Thank you so much. And also you. doing the walkathon, yes. um, you know, creating more awareness, and hopefully we'll, we would, we'll get answers. So um, to all our viewers, please, um, you know, research, educate yourselves on SIDS, donate, and, um, you know, help. Kenya and Rob thank find you. a cure, find some sort of answers for me. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you, you so much for having us. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you for watching Mind Sense. And until next time, I'm your host, Mina J. And I'm your host, Sarita.